What's up guys? Apologies for not having a mic today. I hope my voice is clear enough. And the good news is that you won't have to listen to me swallow this delicious or potentially awful concoction by Pete's Coffee, the original craft coffee. So these are their cold brew offerings. I saw them in Target and decided this would be a good opportunity to pick some up and give it a try. Pete's is, in my opinion, and theirs apparently, the original craft coffee. They are the pioneers of the second wave, and I would say that my dad is probably their biggest customer all the time, still drinks it every single day, and the original Pete's coffee is actually located in Berkeley, California, which is my hometown. So, shout out to them, and... I hope that this is pretty good too. I mean, now that they're owners of Stumptown, they're all under the same roof, and Stumptown has, in my opinion, the best ready-to-drink cold brew coffee, I'm pretty confident that Pete's probably borrowed a few things from Stumptown in that department. At least let's hope so. So I'm going to start with this dark chocolate version. They also have a Cafe Ole, which I didn't overindulge this time, but... I'll make sure to add it to this review in the future. Maybe I'll edit it in, maybe I'll do a separate one. We'll see. And then Buridi Black. So this is a bold, uh, bold, bold, smooth East African coffee. Uh, and this, I believe, is just, yep, yeah, just called brewed coffee. There appears to be some kind of sediment in the bottom. So if it's just cold brew, I'm hoping that's just chaff or something. I don't know what that could possibly be. Um, in any case, I guess we'll find out. So I'm gonna start with dark chocolate, as I said. And I'll give you a close up look after I'm done tasting things. It smells like chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh yeah, fresh chocolate chip cookie dough. Definitely got a nice dark color to it, so hopefully they're not BSing us when they start say dark chocolate because dark chocolate connoisseur is like myself. Well, not really, but dark chocolate lovers, they know how to distinguish between dark and milk chocolate, so don't BS me, Pete's. Mm. So my first reaction is I actually taste more coffee than chocolate, and I think that's a great thing, and it's not too uh, viscous. There's not a lot of thickness. Uh, I know that Stumptown's, well, all the Stumptown cold brews that have milk and sugar tend to leave a little bit of flemminess in the throat. So far, I'm not picking up any of that. It's really clean. There's not a lot of thickness, even though it may look pretty thick, pretty thin body. In terms of sweetness, now I have a sweet tooth, full disclosure, so I tend to prefer things that are more sweet than your average offerings, but I would say that this is pretty mellow sweetness. Uh, ingredients say 23 grams of sugar, so, well that's definitely not uh, a little bit of sugar, that's a lot of sugar in my opinion, but it doesn't taste too sweet. While I'm staring at the box, why don't I just read off some of the things that it says. Uh, I'll try not to bore you, but this same refreshing cold brew we craft in our cafes is now good to go anywhere. They start with their East African Buridi blend, roast by hand, then cold brew it bold and smooth for hours. Whatever that means. 
It's made even more irresistible with the freshest milk and rich dark cocoa to bring out the coffee's natural chocolate notes. So yeah, I'm definitely tasting the chocolate notes. Not as chocolatey as the Stumptown cold brew with chocolate, but also not as thick. So I would say that this is, to be honest, I think this is, I think this is better. Uh, it's really, really good. I don't like the amount of sugar that's on there. I'll show you the ingredients, the rest of the stuff. So there's the nutrition facts. Uh, here are the ingredients. So, cold brewed coffee, milk, cane sugar, it's like they're blurring out some of the, that's not the camera here, it's like they're blurring out the ingredients because they don't want us to know. Um, cane sugar, tarred cocoa, processed with blah, 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 can't read that, sodium bicarbonate, salt, gelan, gelan, oh, gelan gum. Yeah, so not the simplest ingredients. So in that department, I wouldn't say that this is perfect, but from a taste perspective, I think this is spot on and I especially like it. I know I'm repeating myself here, but I especially like it because it's got a nice, clean, no phlegm in the throat body to it. So I recommend it. Now. I'm going to get another glass here and then I'll pour this guy out and tell you what I think. So, be right back. 